G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where it's Horde Night in Undead Legacy. I am just woefully unprepared for this. I'm not even close to being on the right side of any of the fences I need to be to properly survive this horde night. I don't have the ammo. I don't even have a horde base right now. I haven't started building that bloody thing and the horde is showing up in not too long. And just to make things worse, I'm trying to do this in the wasteland so the horde's going to be way worse than any horde I've faced so far. There's going to be demos and cops and rads and all the bad things showing up on my doorstep. And what have I got to fight them off? Like, a couple of hundred rounds of five, five, six, if that. Not really much at all. I am well up a certain creek without any sort of shred of a paddle. But I'm starting out a little bit earlier than I actually normally would. My bellows isn't even in my bloody furnace right now. Hold on a second. Chuck it into there. There you go. I'm starting a bit earlier than normally would because I need to jump in my 240 and head back to the desert. All the way back down here to grab my horde nut gubs I left behind and grab my electrical stuff I left behind so I can actually, hopefully, stand a chance of fighting off the zombies. It's not a great plan, but it's the only plan I got. I'm just, I'm just so anxious. I'm so anxious this morning. I'm already chattering away like a badrugar that's just seen the sunrise. My chest is tight. I'm uncomfortable. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of awful things all crammed into one little shop. You get your crafting away. I've run out of gunpowder. I've got more crafting in the chemistry station downstairs. That's all I can do for now. That's going to take about half an hour just for all my ammo stuff. All right, that's as good as I can hope for. Let's chuck the gunpowder back into you. Make sure that Deeds, Deeds, has nice empty inventory. I'll take that out of you. Save myself like 12 kilos, leave you behind. And I think I'm about as good to go as I'll be. But every kilo counts. So you can just hang out into there. You can hang out into there. I don't need fat stacks of ammo all the bloody time. I can pick you back up later on. That should be a bit better. All right. Deeds, it's about to be morning time, so come with me. Shotgun's out, though. Don't want to waste my 5.56s. I need to be there for when the daytime zombies spawn, or before the daytime zombies spawn, and the nighttime zombies die. Oh, it's always so bloody sketchy trying to slide down the ladder like that, but I made it work. All right, let's get out to the 240 and get cracking on. Time is ticking away. Oh, actually... Uh, listen, I'm not sure. Do I want to take the 240? Like, I love the 240 so bloody much. If I'm grabbing so many things from the desert... Ooh, there's loot over there. I might need to take the van again. I mean, it's a little slower, but just the fact that it's got so much extra carrying capacity is probably more valuable to me. Because if I get all the way out there and I can't bring everything back with me... Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a bloody armada of bears showing up. No one expects the Barry Inquisition. Oh, missed it. Missed it. We're fine. Keep on moving, though. I think the van is the right call. I just want to kill these idiots so I can go and grab that loot right there. It's beckoning me in, luring me in, and I can't resist the temptation. I think ScoMo's the last one for the moment. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I said that. Oh, my God. I'm very jealous and started screaming about it. Those bears are just waddling their way down here. They are determined to come and crash the party. I might need to leave before too long. It's just, oh, let's just keep on coming. And just keep on coming one after the other and there's dick all I can do about it. Missed it. One more. Come on, reload faster, please. Nice. Dead. I want to get loot and gogs on. It's a lot of bodies scattered around the place and the bears are coming to feast. Grab you. Not a lot. Got a frothing inside the bolts, though. Thank you very much. All right, I'll take them with me. I'm taking the van. I'm taking the van. The 240 just doesn't have the carrying cap. I'm sorry, 40. I'll be back in you before too long. There you go. Drifty all the way around. Mind the wall. Oh, perfect. Millimeter perfect. Love it. In fact, I've barely got four feet out of my home. I've barely gone down the road and around the corner. I realized this definitely was the right call. Uh, I need to bring all the sellables with me as well. All the shiny things I have in that chest, I need to bring out to the wasteland. Because the whole goal here is to make enough dollar redos to buy a Chapopper on or before day 70. So... I mean, if I'm going to be making some money, I need to bring the things I need to sell. And Trader X is right there. He may have a bear out the front, but that's okay. I'll go in there and sell the stuff to him I possibly can. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just anxious. I'm I mean, Look, I talk fast on well, any day. Over a good day and a bad day. I'm talking and chattering quickly all the bleeding time. But today just feels like it's a whole other, it's a whole other level. This is my turn off just here. Just chuck a Louie and around we go. Oh, that's like... 
That's like the little turn off bit there where a train is supposed to be. But there's no train there, just like the road markings for it. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of funny. All right, whatever. <laughs> That's all the sightseeing we're doing. We're pinning the throttleless ogling out the window. Got no time to stop. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't have any horde base right now. I, I, maybe I just let them run through Higashi and I just kill them as I possibly can. I've got to try and build something, but I've just got nothing on the mind right now. And I don't have that much materials either. I want to try and build like some sort of ladder base like so they can all come out to me in one nice easy line and I can sit above them and fire down. But whether that's even going to work, I don't know. <laughs> the first like trial run we're going to have is going to be the Horde Knight. What could possibly go wrong? It's only just ticked over 6 a.m. It's now 10 past 6. I'm just starting to make out the silhouette of Jen's compound just in the gleam of the sunshine over there. I just need to get in and get out very quickly. The other day, I tried to make a quick resource run back to this base and spent half the day out here trying to balance out all of my inventory stuff, which didn't do me many favors at all. But today, it's just open boxes. Yeah, nah, me too, Teed. Me definitely too. Just jump in, tap out, grab all the guns I can, and yeet them into the back of the van. No time for stacking or organizing. Everything in, everything gone, and then out of here... I've got to leave here before midday. If I leave at midday, it's already way too late. I need to do this very fast. There's no time to go down to the garage. I'm going to park up just out the front here and charge straight on through, right up the hole in the elevator shaft, up to my house. So it's got to be Horde Night Gubs, Sellable Gubs, and Electricity. Those are the only three things I'm here for. So you... Give me all of that. Got a couple of Molotovs in there. Nothing left me everyday carry. I'm already way down a mid... Jesus, already went down immediately. Who's out here? Just you? Can you please go away? I don't have the time to fight you right now. It's a very inconvenient time for a zombie apocalypse. Just chucking most of the stuff. In fact, almost all of the stuff. Just straight into D. Sort of close to being cucumber. Love your work, DD. The 44 rounds, I don't need. I'm not going to use them. There's no point in me having them. They can just go away. I'm going to say I heard someone gurgling down here. But that's right. They'll come up to here. Turn on... You, just for the moment, electric fences should still work. I can grab all of this stuff. Please don't weigh me down. Nah, it doesn't. Still got plenty of room in it. Sounds pretty close. Very close. Slice you up. Oh, I got a little tickle before you yeet yourself on the side of the cliff like a desperate mountain goat running from a leopard. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, though? There you are. You may be bleeding. Follow the trail of blood. Catch you later. Need to make sure I remember as well to grab a wiring tool. I'll take my switches. I'll take some electric fences because sure, why not? I'll take that spotlight as well. Mm, I could take the work lights, but I might want to keep them around here. Apparently, those ones have RGB coloring that I haven't even like tinkered with yet. Actually, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take them with me too. I'll need some wire relays. Maybe I'll take a timer switch as well because why not? Uh, anything else in here that I especially need? Not really, I don't think. Nah, I think I'm all gravy. Think I'm all gravy. Oh, uh, no, I've got a nail gun out there, so that's fine. Don't need anything else. All right, easy as pie. That also means don't need to grab you. In fact, if I just take you, do I just take the batteries out of you immediately as well? I do. There's all the batteries and the battery bank. Mm, generator? Or I leave the generator here? Uh, I reckon I'll leave the generator here and I'll take the solar with me. We're going to go nice and green. Oh, you're still growing. Got an hour and 42 left. Going to go nice and green out in the wasteland. The world may have been obliterated, but doesn't mean I can't be a little bit more conscious about it. Grab that SMG turret too. I'm pretty cute. I think I'm still fine to move. Yeah, only just... So I have everything. DD's got all the ammo and things. I have all the sellables and things. I'll make the run down to the car. In fact... It's just down here, isn't it? It's a bit dicey, but save myself some time. Hop. Nailed it. Love your work, me. Okay, everything into you. Come on, faster, please. Deeds, give me everything out of you as well. Uh, that one. Take. Take all. It's faster to put the bloody first aid stuff back into you again. So that one and... Uh, oh, and this one, actually. I don't know why I have so many in my hop up. There you go. Hold on to those. Everything else in. Okay, one last little scout. I'll make sure I haven't left anything behind. And then we'll go. It's a nice, good time. Because I'll be out of here before 8 a.m. Good job. I think I'll actually take that artisan table with me to make myself like the concrete block. So I'm not having to like upgrade things just in case I need it. Just to hedge all my bets. Disassembly station. Not needed. Ooh, there's some more extra wood frames. I kind of forgot about. Actually, carpenter's table. 
No, I don't need you right now. If I need it, I can come back and get it. It's not that far to go. It's not that much of a problem to go all this way. Stone powder, I'll take you. Workbench, I don't need you right now. Chem station, got one. Research station, don't have one, but barely use it. And don't need either of you either. Okay. Is there anything else in here I'm going to take with me? Plating and things? Yeah, probably. I do need to be conscious about weighing myself down, though. Two and a half tons seems like a lot, but it's really not when you start taking everything you own with you. One concrete mix. Iron plating. I could take all the ingots and stuff too, but they might be a little bit daft. I think that's probably it, right? That's probably it. I can get... I'll take like some of the scrap titanium just to save myself a mine in some in case I need it. And titanium ingot that I can still sell for bulk dollary dues. Uh, that's going to do it, I think. Oh, God. You're worth... You're worth heaps. Do you have like recipes or something? Or are you just there? A dense gold ingot. You're just there for bucks? Alrighty, then I'll take you with me. I'll take the nugs as well. Where was the silver? I had some silver in here too. Steel, silver ingots. Do you have gubbins that are like you made out of? Or you you have no recipes? Maybe I see you to sell you because you're worth a pretty penny. Alright, Reggie Ditchcob. I've got a bad feeling about oh. this. I can hear some ups downstairs. Hold your horses there. Just give me two seconds to figure out what I'm doing. Anyway, always probably a good thing to take with me. I don't think much of this stuff is super pressing. I'll take those. I'm a little bit knackered, but that's fine. I need to make sure I take, though, like the candies and the treats and things I might have left behind. Health bar, always important. I've got those two on me. My rock buster should be out at the, uh, at the wasteland base already. Take the honey. Always good idea to have some spares of that. Uh, frothies and coffees, because we just bloody need those. They're very bloody important. Uh, you guys can all stay here, I think. If I need to do some serious upgrading, I can come back. That's more of like a, a long effort rather than doing it quickly. Oh, I can't. I can't make that jump when I'm knackered like this. Deeds, are you still full of shit? I don't think so. No. Hold on to something just to kind of make myself a little bit lighter. Just to get me underway. Anything? Everything? A little bit more. Don't want to put like the plates in there. Weighs way too much for her. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. All right, we're going. We're good. One last little stab for the road. Damn it. Missed you. Got you. All right, 8.30. We're leaving. Jump back in and chuck cheeky Yui and head out to the way. There we go. Oh, a little bit of a fishy. All right, Maccas. Trey, calm your farm. Quarter to nine. Good times. Goodbye, house. I'll see you again. I'm sure I'm going to come back here every second day anyway. Oh, man. So I get back there. My, I mean, my first job needs to be to build <laughs> to build the horde base. It's freaking horde day. And I'm like, oh, I should build a horde base. Yeah, no fucking it's shit, Sherlock. Probably should have done that well before now. Why do I always do this to myself? I suppose maybe in a pinch I could have taken those machine gun parts to have upgraded my uh, my tacky boy, my TC tacky boy that's left out in the wasteland. Because if I get that to tier B, and you know how I feel about the upgrading mechanic, uh, if I get that to tier B, it'd be an extra mod slot and some extra damage. But I'm really hoping I can get through tonight just using the Fugly Famous. It's the best gun I've got. It does a shitload of damage. It's got large magazine sizes. And it's pretty bloody accurate too, both from the hip or down its yuck iron sights. If I get through on that, it'd be great. But as a backup, the Tacky Boy isn't particularly bad. And it runs on 7.62, which I have bulk ammo of. That would probably be the better way to do it, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Although the good news is that because of the way 7 days works, after like midday on a whole day, it'll stop spawning in regular world spawn zombies. I don't know if that applies to the wasteland as well. We're about to find out. But that might give me the window of peace that I need to build the horde base. Tell me it was deliberate. You know, it's taking advantage of the in-game mechanics to build a horde base when I have some peace and quiet. Because who wants to build a base with bears everywhere? Not me. I did just realize as well that even with DD clapped out and carrying a lot of gubbins, I'm currently carrying not, oops, sorry, 920 kegs worth of gubs. And I think the, the 240, even with like, like its new suspension and all the other mods it's got on it, uh, it can only carry like 850 or something like that from memory. It used to be 750, but then the mods gives it more. So I think it's 850. So I wouldn't have been able to carry everything My if I had to take in the two, uh, the 240. So feeling pretty vindicated right now. For once in my life, I made the right decision. Chuck her around and try not to spin out. Oh, got a little bit loose, but not so bad. Unfortunately, I couldn't go full Kylie and start spinning around. Get out of my way. Excuse me. Oh, dog, doggo. Like a bloody ruined the night. I picked away and I thought I had you covered. The last moment, you decided to hop across and get yourself tangled up in my radiator. Bloody hopping bastard. Swing around. Oh. 
Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, it was real toxic! That is not what you want to lag spike when you're booking it around a roundabout. Okay, anyway, all that muppetry aside, we are now back home. Thank goodness for that. Hopefully those bears that were hanging out out about here uh, have gone, which I'd very much appreciate if they have. That was a big lag spike. That could be a wandering horde coming in, but hopefully it's not. I'm just going to park you right there. It's not a great park job. Getting out of here is going to be a little bit difficult, but... That's okay. In fact, I'm already knackered, so deeds, come with me, please. We'll do a second run in the moment. Just chuck everything I can into you. I'm running out of space a little bit, but that's okay. Deeds is nowhere to be seen. For some reason, DD just can't follow me up the ladder. I don't know why. She gets halfway up the building and then decides that, uh, yeah, nah, I'm not going to do that anymore. Come on, DD. Do a little teleport up to the top. This usually works for you. Where the hell are you? Whatever. Can't wait forever for DD. I'll grab the gunpowder out of you. If I have some more to make, I will. But I think I'm missing sulfur. Uh, like the, the sulfur powder. The yellow stuff. So I can't make any more. You can make some more 556s. Five, five, no cop back with a minute to spare. You'll love to see it. Okay. That's good. Let's go downstairs. There's more ammo all over the shop as well. You're going to find my freaking robot. What are you doing? My, my frame rate is so ass right now. There's so many zombies out there. This is all, um, it's all, oh shit. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's all getting a bit dicey. Thank God I've got enough money in my pockets to not hurt myself, fall myself down elevator shafts. Go away. Go away. I'm not in the mood right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There's bears. Oh, Jesus. There's bears everywhere. Uh, Famous. Famous is the only way I'm ever getting out of this. Give you a little tickle and stop your vomit. There's another bear on the scene now. Oh, God. All right. Hey, DD. Good to see you. Glad you could show up at the last moment where I'm about to freaking die. That was a well-timed pepper. Oh, God. Oh, that hurt. That hurt, but I hurt you more. Got one round left in the magazine. Just keep on charging and keep on reloading. Thank God for running gun. Oh, God. I love a cheeky pop. Love a cheeky bloody pop. Now I can kill the rest of you with a shotgun and conserve some ammo. Those bloody bears, man, they gobble up so many things. Ammo, zombies, me included. I'm not going to say no to some cheeky loot. I did grab the testosterone out of those bears. What have you... Ooh! Ho, 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 ho. Some little purple boots. A little uh, bit of hoof cufferings. Thank you very much. Some more loot down there as well. Okay. Okay. Well, I had to kill... Ooh, there's a lock down here. I had to kill... The, like, the people who were dead down here. Oh, no, dead down here. I had to kill the people down here anyway so that they wouldn't res respawn after midday, which we're about to hit. Lovely. Get the speedy boost from getting into combat. How many little drops are down here, though? Anything in you? 762 rounds. Not exactly what I needed. <laughs> I'm supposed to be building a horde base. I've got distracted by loot. Oh, again. Who would have... Who would have thought... What'd you pick up, dates? What'd you pick up? What'd you pick up? Anything bad? Now you're, now you're just lying to me, dude. Now you're just lying. Okay, all that distraction aside, uh, storage grab. It's 500 kilos in you, which is a lot. I can't take all of that, I don't think. 700 kilos on me, DD. I don't think I got everything out of you, did I? I did not. You only got like 50 kegs on you right now. I thought I loaded you up better than that. Here's a bunch. A bunch of things for you to carry. Get me underweight and you close to weight. 350 is your max. So all the way to like... Oh, almost. Too much. Mm, like that. Okay. You carry that. I'll carry this. I can only just move, but we make a good tag team. We can get some really sweet, shiny cummerbunds if we really wanted to. Half past 12. All my stuff's unloaded. Time to build a horde base. Time to build a horde base. After all of that, at least the rain has stopped for the moment, so that's pretty bloody good for me. I need all my brick helpers. 162. I do have... A fair amount of concrete left to make some more if I really need to. Another 78. I'll keep that in mind. Though. I don't think I need that right now. I'll see how I go with this. But where was like my little shitty base I'm trying to make for myself? Is that this way, wasn't it? So if I'm trying to get this sorted out, imagine me like standing here firing directly down at Muppets trying to climb up some ladders. There's a part of what's got to like stagger the ladder. So if they do fall off and go to their stupid fucking destroy everything mode, they're not going to destroy the base of the ladder straight away. But... That might be asking a fair lot. I think I just... Yep, that it is pissing down cats and dogs right now. Apparently a storm has rolled through. That's great. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my actual horse base is a more important thing. Not the fact that it's raining outside. 
So yeah, if I can get them to somehow climb ladders, come to me in a straight line, I should be able to pep room, which means I need to build off the concrete blocks right down there. All right, I need to do this very carefully. And how exactly I do it is going to make all the difference about whether it's going to be successful or it's all going to go... Oh, jeez. It's all going to shit very quickly. Don't really have time to be fighting soldier men. Thank God it went down nice and quickly. Right. Thankfully, this building does have kind of like ribs to it, so I can kind of gauge a uh, gauge. Uh, and it's also ribbed for my building pleasure. Uh, it's got the ribs so I can line up where exactly I want to build these things. So it's three wide at the top, and I kind of want it to be like centralized, I suppose, so I can move around my little balcony up there and fire down through it. So if I put one on this rib and the other one on that rib, that should work out pretty okay, I think. You'll get a little bit too close to comfort. Go away and go away. Thank God my sniper rifle is whisper quiet. So I don't have to worry too much about it. You piss off. All right. No time like the present, I suppose. Yep. All right. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it and see how it goes. I need a ladder. I'll put you like that. Yes, yes, put you like that. And I want to have a redundancy. So two ladders going all the way up to the top. That's on that rib. That's on that rib. That should be fine. What I do actually want to do as well, to stop any zombies coming up behind it. And like, because when they can't climb a ladder, they'll clatter the ladder. So I want to stop that. So I put down like a little wall just to stop the zombies going on the backside so they can only go up the front here onto the ladders. Does that make sense? I don't think I explained it very well, but it's what's in my head. So hopefully it's going to go okay. The good news is that this is only super duper dicey and I am on the brink of death any given moment. How, how high is that? Actually, I want to go to about that rung there. So I'm on this one. That's okay. Just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And can I actually... Oh, jeez. I can't quite reach that, can I? I could try and make the jump, but that's, that's heckin' risky. That's heckin' bloody risky. I need to try and line this up to there. I think if my eyeballs... Oh, there goes Spider Boy just hopping about all the way down the street down there. If my eyeballs don't deceive me, and I've got four of them, so hopefully they're not. If I get my regular concrete blocks from here... Oh, jeez. And chuck you like that. All right, so there's a bit of a landing, and that should be at about the same level as you. I can't reach it, but I'm just going to have to go with it. It definitely is, and hope I'm right. How am I going to do this, then? What's the next phase of this? I want to be able to like, get them all into one single line and kind of bring them... So, so like, then I can like, bring them into the line of fire of my Sammy the Sledge turret to push them back off, back down from whence they came, if they make up the ladder and I haven't killed them yet. Kind of like a contingency. So, if I go from, like, there... I could do that. I put like, yeah, okay. So if I put a ladder down from that bit there onto this. Oh, geez. We're back to this again, are we? Going millimeter by millimeter, trying to place the blocks down where I need them to be. This bit, oh, a little bit further. This bit here. That's where the other ladder is. Okay, that's fine. Where am I? So I'm about here. I want to go one block further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over to about here. Is that the right spot? Oh, geez. I'm... I'm anxious about it. I think that's the right spot there. Nice. I would like... Ooh. Okay. Half concrete block cubed. Oh, that's perfect, actually. To give myself a little narrow runway for them to run down. Go like that. Oh, it is the right level too. Fucking look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so you're there. Go here. Grab my ladder. And just chuck that down from there. Build it all out of concrete. It's one block further out, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. So that one there. Nice. And that takes me up to here. So that is how that there, that that like route I just ran, is the way that the zombies will think they can get to me. And then if I'm chuck a Sammy the Sledge, like just in this corner here, they get to here, they get bonked, they get sent off the side. What could possibly go wrong? That sounds perfect to me. I kind of wish you were like a three-quarter block, though, instead. I might be able to, like, replace you or something, but that's the last thing on my list right now. Right now, I need to get back down to the bottom. If I can grab that. Oh, yep, yeah, grab that ladder again. That was real bloody sketchy. Up yeah, nah, mine too. Need to quickly murder you in one fell swoop. 
And now it also is coming over and build the other ladder. I've got 97 blocks remaining, which should hopefully be enough all the way up like this. I'm just going to make sure this time around, I don't jump and bonk my noggin into the uh, into the platform above me and send myself careening back down to the pavement to make a woodle-shaped pile of goo. Come on, keep going up. Keep going up. Just keep your eyes on the prize. How far away am I? I'm still too far to take your eyes off it yet. Keep on going. I've reached the top. All right. So just like uh, edge my way out onto the side so I can start, oh, for goodness sake, sliding down the ladder a little bit. The ladders in this game always scare me half to death. Oh, this is scary. I just realized I was hanging extra weight off like that little connection there. But no, it's fine. That's all now connected. And I think... I think that will do me. I think that'll do me nice. I've got 61 blocks left over. That's come up a treat. How am I going to put... Oh, you know what? I was going to say, how am I going to put down some of the sledge? And I wanted to be focusing on that bit there where it's narrower. But he has like that real big arc, doesn't he? He's not always looking where you want him to be. So I think if I grab a plate... I go like advance, ooh, on face? No, advanced rotation, stick you on this side. Yeah, like that. Is that gonna work out? How's it working in my head? I think so. If I put you there and then I go around the corner, don't hang off the edge like I have been and stick you there and then get my rampy block and just put like a nice little like corner in for Sammy. He can sit there, happy as a sledgehammer Larry and push them off all the way around the corner here. I think that is probably the best call. And just as like an extra little, uh, I kind of like hedging my bets, I suppose, an extra little hedge to hedge my bets. If I put in some old school jumpy poles, like one there and one there, then it means when the zombies get to here, they got to stop, prop, jump, probably stagger, get caught up here for a little bit, enough time for somebody to push them off the side before they ever make it to here. And then once they're here, I mean, if I make it up this far, I'm kind of shit out of luck anyway. So as well as get rid of this, make it nice and easy. I wouldn't mind actually some barriers for me out of my platform out there. So I don't get so like kind of tunnel visioned and focus down the sights and walk myself, uh, myself off the edge. I'm probably do that with this actually, couldn't I? Can I go railings? Railings? Yeah, you. Is there somewhere? Yeah, here we go. If I'm going to start with this one, because it's on the edge of the catwalk. Let's go like you, and then we'll go to these ones. I was going to say, are they getting yellow? They're definitely getting yellow, aren't they? They're definitely getting yellow. I'm right on the cusp. Okay, okay, that's right. I can work with this. Give me my platey boys back, that one, and just stick them on the side. I've got the extra concrete to use, so may as well bloody use it with a plate, not a pole. That one. There we go. Barely even ruined the aesthetics of my little platform out here. Not that I really have any, <laughs> just by adding a little bit of extra concrete, which somehow makes it more supportive. Don't know how adding extra weight to it makes that work, but whatever. I'm not going to complain about it too much. You give me that one. And just quickly whip up a couple of corner pieces. And that should keep me nice and safe. I need that one. Double cap only? Are you different to the regular one? Oh, it's got the little cap. Oh, it's got the double cap. I see. I see. Thank God I read things occasionally. I just want like a regular one then. Diagonal. Cap. That one. That's just the regular single. In you go. So when I'm out here blasting away... Down on that ladder and down on that ladder, I can't accidentally chuck myself off the side. Great. I don't think there's anything else around here that I really need concrete blocks for, so I think we're all good. I'm nervous about them collapsing the ladders. That's like, that's the big, the big, like, kind of Achilles heel of this base design. If they get mad and they break the ladders, it's all over. If a cop explodes, breaks the ladders, it's all over. If a demo shows up and explodes and breaks anything, including me, it's equally all over. Where did that soldier just go? I saw him wandering about, and now he's standing still, and I can't bloody see him. Like, I'm a freaking T-Rex. There you are. There you are. Zoom in and just plink you off, just because I bloody feel like it. Still not dead. There we go. Perfect. Still not dead. Jeez. Those government issue helmets are doing pretty bloody wonders. With that built, I need to work on the next bit. In fact, chucking some electric fences down where Sammy's going to be. Speaking of Sammy, give me Sammy. G'day, buddy. How the hell are you? I've accidentally... Oh, jeez, that was silly. I've mixed all my sellables into... 
all of this garbage. That was very silly. We should have put it in a separate box, but too late for that now. So I got Sammy, got electric fences, got some relays, got SMG auto turrets, solar array switches. Where is batteries? Give me all of you. And also give me, where's the battery bank? You should be relatively easy to find. Are you not in this one? Are you in this one instead? Jeez, there's just shit everywhere, isn't there? I have, there you are there. I've done a bang awful job of trying to organize this shit, but whatever. Let's go chuck down electricity so I have some anti-vulture AA. Speaking of, are there 10 millimeter rounds in here? Yes, there is. Give me those. Happy as. Let's go get that set up. Oh, look at this even. There's like a perfect spot for it. Quickly whip out the railing that's here. Chuck the uh, the turret right next to it. So it's looking over my little area. It's not going to save me from like radiated vulture vomit, which is a bit unfortunate. I could build like a, a roof on top of me to try and keep it away. But I think that's just asking a little bit too much of me right now. Just go with the bare essentials and work with it from there. So you go in like that. I'll then grab you and just like, let's put you actually inside. So you're kind of out of the way of everything. That should reach. I didn't bring, fuck. I didn't bring wire. I didn't bring wire. We're gonna get wire from. You get wire from like, oh shit. Like, uh, like raiding random like garbage and shit. So we're gonna find something somewhere that was silly. That's an oversight. Maybe I found some before. I can quickly go and grab it, but. Yeah, nah, not clever by me. That's bang awful. No sign of any wire in you. What about in this one then? Please, please, please. Nah, no sign of wire in that one either. Right, I need to then find some. Where am I going to find some in Higashi? Uh, maybe like breaking down some of this stuff might give it to me. I don't know. I'm really kind of guessing at this point. Electrical parts. Can I make wire? Shit, it's already after 6 p.m. as well. So it's all starting to count down. No wire out of you. I know you get it out of like <laughs> the like the random cardboard boxes and things. I know I can find it in that, but there's none to be found. Crafting a worker to scrap copper and scrap wire. I only need one. I need one and it's workbench as well, not the blacksmith workbench. Shit, 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 shit. This is not what I wanted to be doing right at this moment. Scouring the whole place to try... Oh, here we go. To try and find any scrap of wire. That's paper. That won't work. Come on. Trash. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I am in a little bit of dire straits. I'm not going to lie. Like, how do I... How do I make this work if I can't get wire? That's by AA. That's the only way to kind of take care of the vultures coming for me. Nothing in you. I don't need champ scatter recipes. I need, I need just a strip of metal. Anything. I've come outside to, oh geez, really push my luck, but also hopefully find anything out here. Please go away. I'm, I'm so not in the mood for you right now. Oh, doggo. What is that wolfie doing? There's a thousand zombies down here. How have you called in the next freaking horde before the horde's actually here? Oh, that was a good bloody shot. Took your noggin off on a flinch. Yeah, nah, me too, Deeds. Will it be one of the car, maybe? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. I mean, at least, like, the the main areas of the horde base are all set up. That's all about it. That was a steel shovel, some lead, and some duct tape. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Search all the garbage. Like, high-value things aren't what I'm after right now. Oh, can you just... Damn it. Can you just not? Look at them all. What the fuck? This is bad. This is bad. This is taking up so much of my time that I need to be spending doing other things. A long range headshot on you, but it didn't quite get you. Skymo, please just give us a little bit more breathing room. Or bring me some goddamn wire. Where, where can I find some? Where can I find some? Not in you. Like, oh, maybe, like, maybe down here or something. Yes, here we go. I need boxes. This is what I'm after. You, nothing. You, Nothing. Come on. Dumpster. Dumpster, please. Dumpster, please. No, that's, I mean, it's metal. Can't I just chuck that in the fuse and be done with it? You go away. That's going to take too long to loot with a freaking spider bearing down on me. Oh, and a water balloon as well. Oh, frame rate. I might have wanted too close to a pier and then all like the regular zombies have spawned in because it's getting real dicey out here. Yeah, they're beating through the wall. Shit. Fuck. I was trying to freaking rain. I had half a second left and you got right up on me. Not flanks, you pelican for God's sake. I can't believe it. After all we've been through, it's coming down to looking for some freaking scrap wire. I, I remember I was looking at the workbench. I was like, oh, do I need to take this? Like, nah, it's okay. Nothing here needs to be made. I forgot about bloody wire. 
I forgot about bloody wire. Nothing in you either. Where else can I go? Where else can I go? Where else is going to have it? How was the one throwing out just a scrap, a bit of tin foil? There's nothing. I think I'm just shit out of luck. I th oh, jeez, get it, bud. I think I'm just shit out of luck for all of my plans. Um, is there anything easy for me to get? It's half past eight, and I haven't even got myself set up for the horde yet. I gotta go. I gotta go. Sorry, love. I gotta, I gotta go up to the horde. I'm gonna get all my ammo and shit together. Anything in you? Imagine that finding that last little moment, but not, not to be. Fuck. Oh, also, I didn't build anything into this, like, to cater for dogs and things. I guess they'll just run around inside the building or something? <sighs> oh, no. No! <sighs> Alright, active defense is the only way I'm going to survive this, then. I need to make sure that I'm paying attention and shooting the pelicans when they show up. I need some regular ass body blocks, please. I'm going to fall off of this while I'm trying to put down my, uh, my Sammy. Sammy, please go... I guess right about there. That'll do. That looks good enough for me. No time for second guesses, though. Oh! <laughs> Sammy, love your work. Keep up that. All right. I just need ammo. I just need all the ammo. I'm not going to bother too much by getting rid of all the things in my inventory. Like, weight carrying capacity, not a problem. Ammo capacity is a problem. Where is my other Famous? There's my Tacky Boy, actually. Is it even worth me rolling with the other Famous? Because I've got, like, I've got one that's the better one, and I can switch to that one if I need. So if you can come down to here, just like that. What mods do you have inside you? Uh, those will be okay for now, actually. That's fine. What else is around? I just need to find all of my important gubbins and get them in me. I think I've got everything I need. There is the Recog and some honey. I'll take both of you. Recog is definitely going to come in handy tonight. That is for damn sure. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. What's the time? It's half past nine. I've got ammo on me, so I've got... What? It, after all that rushing, actually, I've ended up with 1,500 rounds of 556 five, and 2,500 five, rounds of, uh, of 7.62. Maintenance station, please repair that for me. Thank you. And repair that for me. Or just chuck it on the fucking ground, then jiggly path. Right? Fucking fine, then. No, repair that. And repair you. The sniper will probably come in handy tonight as well. In fact, where was... 25 minutes. Where was the other famous? Not in that one. Was it in you? You were here somewhere. I remember seeing you. Let's see A. Because you had a couple of mods in you that I wouldn't mind putting instead of the suppressor on these bad boys. Um, yeah, There you are. There you are. Give me you. This one. Modify. Just give me the... Yep, that one and that one. Doesn't matter. Modify that. Take off the suppressor. In you go. And then shotgun as well. Modify you. Take off the suppressor. In you go. Alright. Yep, 15 minutes to shut this shit away and get rid of the go. It's foggy as dicks and I can't see a sausage, but whatever. Get the recog in nice and early. XP cogs definitely on. So I'm going to put in like four recogs and most of my learning lexes. Probably all but one, actually. That caps out at 18. Alright, fair enough then. I'll chuck in this. Jesus. Chuck in this then soon. Five, ten. I can already hear a pigeon. Hold on. Hold on. Deeds, I hope you got I me covered. Bad feeling about yeah, fucking me too. That was a terrible shot. But <laughs> more of the problem is I can't see down where the zombies are coming from. It's too bleeding foggy. I mean, they're coming up the ladders though. So I guess that's the best side so far we have that things are actually going the way I planned. And then when they get a little bit goopy, they fall down into the abyss and who bloody knows what's happening down there i guess the first alert we're gonna have that things aren't good is when the entire base starts collapsing but until then oh it can't be other ladder too oh oh easy there big fella easy there big fella can't be having that can't be breaking my shit this early i'm kind of hoping if i just stand to one side and like really kind of draw them into this side of the ladders they'll choose one over the other because trying to defend two at once I mean, listen, I can barely do anything two at once, let alone this. So if I can just focus on one, I will do a better job of it. Two at once, clearly not the man for it. Make sure the coppers die, though, because they explode in the very bottom. That's going to cause me a bit of grief. Oh, it just skimmed me noggin, but that's fine. Go straight through the bars. We're all good. Reload nice and quickly. At least I know that Sammy's got me covered if things get really bad. He was about to pop too. He was about to bloody top. Absolutely not. Not in my house. Or vaguely outside my house. Oh god. I heard a demo. I see a demo. Just don't hit the button. Oh, he fell backwards and exposed his titties and I just about clattered them, but... 
can also see a blinking light just out there somewhere. I think there's ow. I think there's some more demos out there. I can't see through the goo. Oh, clever, clever. Give yourself some cover, like a smoke screen, but it's a goo screen. All right, it's like dancing back and forth. Where'd that demo go? I don't think I killed him. Sammy's doing good work. Popping people off the side. Love your work, Sammy boy. Did you manage to kill everyone though? It's, oh, yeah, no, it sounded like someone was much closer. He's not. I don't think you die, but I'll see you again. I'm not gonna take pot shots at you while you're floating through the air. That's a great way to have you explode and ruin everything. In fact, can I go just like this? Just, no, I can't go like that because I've got to reload my guns. That was silly, but. Please. I don't, I don't think I got you. I don't think I got you. Sammy? Oh, thank God for Sammy. Didn't tickle him, but definitely punted him off the side. Sammy's doing good. Go back to spraying. The recog isn't nearly... Oh, fuck. That was... Oh, fuck. That was very close. Yeah, not me too. Thanks, Deeds. The recogs get uh, not quite as effective as it once was, which is a heck and bloody shame. Going back and forth. We're all good. The goo's around. Where did that demo go, though? Gotta make sure I take care of the demo next time I see him. There he is. Hold on. Hold on. Reload. This is my best shot at him. You. I don't, I'm not sure if I got him or not. I'm not sure if I got him, but I was going to see him next time either way. Man, I made the AP 556s. Yeah, no, nah, it's fine, dude. Thank you for that one. Made the AP 556s. I have no intention of swapping them over. It's what I had the AT famous for, but nah, can't be fucked. Easy. Oh, that's not a good time for a lag spike. Oh, I, 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 I bit it. I bit it. He lured me in to take the pot shot and I took it. Thankfully, it didn't hit him though. Oh, that would have been disastrous. It's a good kind of pacing to the zombies making the way up here though. Like for the most part, I'm not getting overwhelmed. And the ones that do get past me, Sammy's got covered. He fires pretty quickly over there too, holding down the fort. I mean, it's borderline an AFK base, but I still be out of here like thinning the herd as they're making their way up. But Sammy's doing real good work. Love your work, Sam take this opportunity while I think a couple of them are staggered or something down there to just kind of thin the herd out with my sniper rifle. Some armor piercing, like, what is it, 793s, whatever they are, whatever's going into the sniper, or 792 maybe. Armor piercing ones of those would be the tits, but this is fine. They're all lined up like ducks in a slaughterhouse. Quickly reload. I mean, I can't see through the fog otherwise, so I need the scope advantage. As soon as I go goopy though, it's back down to the bottom. This is, yeah, this is like a crawling base, but way more efficient, way better. Because before, in a crawling base, when they go goopy, they kind of stay in the way. Catch you later, spider boy. But with this one, they don't. And they get falling down the bottom, and it's all good. My XP gather rate is, <laughs> it was determined, is ludicrous. It's got 42,000 experience on me. But it's trying to be a little bit calmer, because there is a demo currently climbing the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, I... I think I killed him, but I definitely spanked his tits around a little bit there. I'm a little bit sorry about it. Look, there's his little, like, little blinking light all the way out there, just blinking into the distance. I think I got away with that one. That was close, though. That was close. I definitely gave him a red-hot spray all over those jiggly bits. I think the redundancy ladder was the right call. Oh, that's that's got a little bit of crack in it. That makes me a bit nervous. Not quite as structurally sound as I'd like it to be. Oh, you need to be repaired. I can't repair you until you're reloaded. I'll have to do it twice. There we go. Now quickly repair. Oh god, go quick. There's two. Holy shit! Oh, we got away with it. Sammy, don't do that again. I know titties are great and you want to get in and amongst them at every given opportunity, but not right there, bud. Not there. Just punch him in the knee or something if you need to. Holy shit, I got away with it. I got away with it. I heard the beeps and I thought it was done. Somehow the ladders are still standing. They might only be there by a crumb of a thread, but for now, we're still breathing. All right, I think we need to learn the lesson from that. From now on, whenever I see a demo, if I'm reloading to whatever with the Fugly Famous, doesn't matter. Pull out the, uh, the the tacky boy and start rinsing. It's more important for me to get him goopy and off the side. Oh, it's a fucking gold orb down there. Excited for that one. It's more important for me to get a, a demo goopy and off the ladder because I can't trust Sammy not to get distracted by titties. <laughs> so much death down there, though. Three skill points to spend. I might actually put those points into Lucky Looter. If I'm trying to make money, it's either Lucky Looter or Better Barter because obviously looting gets me better stuff to sell. I don't know. Things just aren't as valuable under Legacy as they are in vanilla, though. You just can't quite make money like you used to be able to. I'm pretty sure. I might just double check, actually. I did put... 
Yeah, I did put rad remover into the fugly famers for most of this reason because if they're falling off the ladder and I don't get to kill them straight away, I don't want the rads regenerating their health down the bottom of the pile. It's been pretty like calm. I'm gonna like knock on wood though because apparently I've just jinxed it. But it's been pretty calm up the top. Only a couple of vaults at the very beginning, but since it's been pretty okay. That's a white and I've oh. I don't, Sammy's got me covered with that one. I love the reach. Having it on the corner there was the right call because he does kind of swing around the entire area that I want to be defending and just covers the whole lot. Love your work, Sammy, except for when you tickle nipples. I've just been clattering away so much with the Fugly Famous. I haven't really been paying attention to my ammo supplies and it's getting a bit low, so I might actually save you for if there's a demo or something that I need to kill. The Tacky Boy isn't quite as good as the, as the Famous was, but it's using different ammo of which I have bulk supplies of. So this I think is the right option for now. Save the really hard hitting thing when something really big and hard hitting shows up. But for his regular like fodder zombies, Tacky Boy's got me covered. I love how long the ladder is as well. I've got plenty of time to see the silhouettes and start killing. Even when they're right down the bottom, heaps of time to reload and get back at it again. 20 past one, the end is almost in sight. I need to kill some more Muppets on like this other ladder over here that I'm sitting on top of right now so that I can see the silhouettes against the loot drops. That's kind of how the only way I know that they're on the other ladder. I can see the kind of dark shadows at the bottom. Can you please like get off your freaking ladder, please? Thank you, Sammy, for sorting that one out for me. But yeah, if I can get some more at the bottom, I can see when they're there and they start firing straight down. And I kind of like been orientated this way. I can just kind of swing between them like that. Can't go any more further down. There was someone down the bottom. There's a cheeky pot shot. Can't get any further down, but can aim up and get these idiots. Get the shit out of the way. There's just a seething mass of zombies at the bottom down there. I really hope they're not breaking the ladder or something, but they're still like climbing and falling. So I think I'm okay. I mean, the other ladder's still working as well. So I don't have too much to worry about there. The pathing is still intact. But just like seeing like the flailing, just like a soup of arms and legs down there. This makes me a little bit concerned, but I think I'm all right for now. There's so much loot. <gasps> That was another demo. Holy shit, I was really lucky. There's so much loot down there waiting for me. I'm excited to go get amongst it. Go on, go on, go get amongst it. Off you go. Just realized that my learning elixir has worn off. Not sure when, but hopefully relatively recently. I'll chuck in another two of you. That'll get me uh, 10 more minutes and another recog. Should we get to, uh, 10 minutes as well? I'm pretty thirsty. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh Sammy, I took my eye off the prize. I'm sorry, I left you hanging with a splody boy, but we still have managed to get through. Oh shit, man, you are so good, Sammy. I want to give you so many pats after this is done. Assuming all of my limbs are still attached. I'm trying to keep my eyes as peeled as they possibly can be because I can't tell the difference between a, uh, a biker's helmet. That's a, that's a demo. And a demo's helmet. Just give you a little bit of a hit, get you back down the bottom again. There was another one out there though. Yeah, there it is, a little bit further down. Get you out of the way, you out of the way, switch back over to you and give you, no, 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 no. What happened? Did I get him? Did I fucking get him right on the death knell? Holy shit, if I, I did too. Look, there's the golden orb down the bottom. That was way too close. Sammy, I'm sorry. I left you high and dry with it. I was trying to be clever, trying to be smart and it almost cost us both. Holy shit, that was close. There he is again. Oh, I got him. I got him. I heard the moan and groan of him dying. Oh, shit. Piss off. Go away. That's what I've still got my katana for just for that. Oh, man. Okay, that hurt a bit. Um, I, uh, Deeds, if you want to give me a little lick or something like that, make me feel better. That would be was wonderful right now. Any... Oh, shit. Any sort of close cover would be really, really appreciated. I'm now infected. I'm all sorts of fucked up. Chuck you into me. I've got some honey. That's fine. Um, hey, Sammy the Sledge, just watch me for a little bit while I sort myself out, please. Oh, fuck. Oh, good job, Sammy. That's the way. That's why I was so desperate to get myself any sort of wire to wire up my freaking SMG turret up to get some AA going. Because those vultures are really the only thing that poses a threat to me. The, well, I mean, the vultures and also the demos. Speaking of, I can see another. I don't want to hit your buttons. I might just like clatter your back for a little bit. <laughs> you just got to do what you got to do, I suppose. Reload you. It is 3 a.m. Rinse the rest of you all the way down. Popping logs all over the shop. 
Come on, one more hour. We can do it. The end is almost in sight. Another little unexpected bonus of this kind of base, similar to the crawling base again, but obviously it's like a crawling base, but vertical, is that when cops try to vomit at me, often they're just going to be vomiting up the asshole or whoever's climbing up above them. So I've kind of got like moving zombie protection. Got like a human shield, but it's a cage human shield. A zombie shield. That's a grotesque thought. I regret saying those words. But either way, I don't get vomited on quite as much, which I actually... um. Unexpected benefit for sure. We're in the last 10 minutes now. They're still coming out both the ladders, so both parting systems are still working, which is oh, which is really good. They should make sure you die nice and quick. You need to be repaired. You need to be repaired. I guess I'll just sit. Nope. Oh, gotcha just in time. The range on the shotgun is ridiculous. What a bloody time you are. Fuck, I love the Vindicator. Go away, I heard you squawk. If you had to snuck up on me, you might have had a better shot at it, but wasn't to be. Oh, man, that Vindicator. I've had a lot of good moments tonight, but that one then, that just gave me the right fits. Oh, and there is the morning time as well. 4 a.m. We're just going to clear out everyone who's left. There'll be screamers everywhere, I'm sure, because in the wasteland, and I've been firing guns for six hours. Always going to be a shitload of dogs around here somewhere that I haven't accounted for, but we'll deal with them when we get down there. Just going to finish off the last of you, chuck on the looting specs and the looting dogs, and the same thing, actually. Get down there and see what presents have been brought. It's like Christmas in the wasteland. I think for the most part, everyone is dead or dying. Let's get the sniper out and make a last couple of adjustments. There you go. It's going to be hung up from the rungs, but that's fine. All right, we're good. We're good. I don't see anyone else climbing the ladders. I think the rest of them that have spawned in are just like regular world spawns. I thought I saw a doggo move around there somewhere. I did just over there, just like that. Okay. Everyone's dead. Let's get down there and see what we got. The really unexpectedly nice thing about this as well is I can just go straight down the horde base to get to where I need to be. I'll chuck you on now. I've got all my regular loadout stuff going. DD is holding all of my uh, horde night stuff. I should probably... Oh, jeez Louise. All right. Yeah, not nah, me too. Have you seen the state of my horde base? I mean, it's still standing, so thank God for that, but... I don't think by much that's going to take a fair amount of repair work to get that back up and cracking again. But in the meantime, eye candy in. Can't waste a whole bunch of time. I have to start the next episode soon. What have you got for me? Scrap you and some ammo. But I want to know, what do I get out of these Goldie boys? Anything fun? $1,000 cash, some steroids, a lead trophy. Thank you for my trophy for beating the horde. Oh my god. Oh my, I need to build supports. Holy shit. There's a lot of damage down here. An AI and helmet and another Goldilocks here with just some concrete. All right, thank you. This is, this is insane. This is so much damage. I've got all of the loot bags that I possibly can. I think that's all of them. Just make one last little look-see and yeah, nah, we're good. Okay, I'm going to head back up to where it's safe and there's not all the world spawns in the world coming to eat me and I'll show you what we got. It's not especially fantastic, but at least it's something. Right, all the way up to here. This base, other than like the pelicans up top, actually worked out a treat. Once I find some wire and can wire that up, it's going to be really bloody good. So what did I actually get out of that? Got an AI and helmets of things to sell. I can scrap you. Got some more purple dye. Love it. I'll chuck it into my tacky boy, actually, given I was using it a lot last night. Scrap you. Scrap you. I mean, there's a lot of like random shit and some valuable shit, but... Like some money to be made, but not an awful lot. But with that, guys, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Another Horde Night done, which means we're now into what I think is probably going to be the final week of Undead Legacy. I used to run Series Today 70 way back in the day, and it kind of like dropped that back. But this one begged to go a little bit longer on the hands and knees. And how can you say no to that? But the race for the chopper is on. I need a helicopter. That's my escape plan from the zombie apocalypse. I need to make $300,000 in a week. And I don't know how to do that under Legacy because everything is really, really bad at making money. I still think the best way is going to mine a shitload of titanium. I might just do that and smelt it into ingots and sell bulk titanium, make my money that way. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of shit out of ideas. So I'll just have to figure it out. But I'll have to come back and hopefully figure it out in another episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if you yeah, like to make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode
have a good one.